Hi, I'm Timothy Mahoney, an investigative filmmaker. I didn't realize I would be taking a 12-year journey to Egypt, Israel, and throughout the world in search of evidence for the Bible. While I was making patterns of evidence, I encountered my own crisis of faith. Talking with scholars created deep questions about the nature of doubts, faith, and evidence. I met actor Kevin Sorbo when I asked him to do the narration for the Patterns of Evidence film. He's a fellow Minnesotan, and we grew up not far from each other. His career took him to worldwide acclaim, playing in two TV series, Hercules and Andromeda. Recently, he's performed in numerous movies, including the role of the atheistic professor in the film, God's Not Dead. I invited Kevin to join me in Minneapolis to discuss the challenges I encountered as I searched for evidence of the Bible. This would be a chance to better understand some of the big questions I faced, and really, that we all face. Join us for the next hour as we explore the evidence of faith, a conversation with Kevin Sorbo and myself, Timothy Mahoney. Hey, welcome. We'll get a table cleared off for you. Can I get you anything to drink? I'll have coffee and cream. Uh, water's fine for me, thanks. Perfect. So you gotta tell me something about this film. Why did you decide to make it? What, what brought you down this road? I uh, have always been interested in history and the stories of the Bible. My folks got divorced when I was young, mm -hmm. and my mother, as a single parent, read the stories you know, in the Bible at night. We, we used to have this time where she would read them, and she was trying to transfer those stories of faith, that these challenging things happen to these types of people. Mm -hmm. She believed in that, that she could get through as a single parent with four kids. Thank you. She really saw a hope in that, that these stories were true and that there was something to them that gave her a confidence and it was very, very important to her. So when someone said, hey, let's go to Egypt to make a film about the Exodus, I was like, you're kidding. I mean, that would be amazing. But you spent 10 years? 12 years. That's incredible. Back and forth, 12 years. Yeah, many, many trips. I thought this was just going to be not a movie, but just a one-hour program. In fact, if anyone would have told me that I would be going on a 12-year journey, yeah. you know, I would have said, no, I'm not going to do that. It began as an adventure, really. I heard about this archaeologist who I thought was uncovering the very location where the Israelites were supposed to be. Uh, I was so fascinated to, to be able to go there because I knew they were digging up this site. We have uh, some evidence of um, sheep herders. Uh, we find again and again in this area pits with uh, goats and sheep. So we know sheep herders, probably Bedouins, with huge herds roamed around this. Uh, but uh, to con connect this with, uh, with the proto-Israelites is uh, a very vague affair. I was stunned when Manfred said it was a weak affair. Why couldn't these be the Israelites when they match the Bible story so well? According to my opinion, uh, the uh, settlement of the proto-Israelites in Canaan only happened from the 12th century BC onwards. Here is this man who is probably the world's premier archaeologist, and he's telling me that he can't find any evidence. I didn't know what to say. I remember as a kid, I had a lot of questions to my parents about the Old Testament and the New Testament. And uh, if you get that kind of answers to somebody, then maybe you think maybe this is just all a fairy tale. What Manfred was telling me is that the physical evidence of these people is centuries too early to be connected to the events of the Exodus. This is profound, because no Israelites in Egypt means no Exodus. And no exodus means that the foundation of Judaism is a myth. And for Christians, it means Jesus Christ and the writers of the New Testament got it wrong. Because they all accepted the reality of Moses and the exodus and built their teachings on them.